hey, I didn't see you there. I was just drinking some water. It's me, Lyric. I'm here at the Body and Soul Plant Powered Kitchen today to talk about hydration. The human body is made up of about 70% water. We've got water flowing in so many different systems of our body, and it's necessary for us to survive. And you may have heard that before, but have you ever really thought intentionally about how you are hydrating yourself throughout your day? It's estimated that adults need to drink between two to four liters of water a day. Having an abundance of water moving through your body is gonna help your body to regulate your body temperature. So staying hydrated can help you feel cooler in the summertime. It's also gonna help your cells receive the nutrients that they need. And it can even help the quality of your sleep, your mood, and your cognitive function. That's one of the first things that I feel when I get dehydrated. That's like one of my main tells that I need to drink some water is if I start to get a headache or if I get a little bit cranky or I'm not really able to focus on something that I'm working on. And those are really common as symptoms of, you know, the early stages of dehydration. Some of the more advanced symptoms or if you're starting to feel really dizzy, you're feeling really fatigued, you could even faint. A lot of people are brought to the hospital um, just because of advanced symptoms of dehydration. So it can be really dangerous and even staying in a constant state of mild dehydration is really gonna wear your body down. You wouldn't allow your car to run and run and run without changing the oil and making sure that the engine is lubricated. And it's even more important to care for your body in that way and to honor the role that water plays in our health and vitality. Remembering to drink water can be really tricky. Um, some tips I have for that. I know people that have a hard time remembering to drink water and there's actually, um, they'll set a timer on their phone or there's, I think there's actually a specific app um, and it'll set a timer for you and you know, every 30 minutes or every hour or something, it'll go off and that reminds you to drink water. So maybe that would work for you. For me, it's just having a water bottle and having it with me wherever I am. This is just hanging on my finger wherever I go. You can get your favorite color. You can get different styles. This is gonna save you money in the long term too. It is an upfront investment to buy a reusable water bottle, but then you're not having to buy bottled water whenever you're out and about. You can also flavor water, spruce it up a little bit with some lime juice, lemon juice. You could chop up some cucumber slices. We'll talk about cucumbers a little bit more in a second. You could add herbs like fresh mint. If you find something that you really enjoy the taste of and you can infuse it into your water, that's gonna help you be more motivated to drink water all the time. And it's really handy dandy if you have a pitcher or a large jar and you could just make a big batch of whatever flavored water you feel really called to and just have this in your fridge already made. You come home from work, it's already there for you. Uh, it's chilled, which is really refreshing in the summer, especially in the hot, hot heat of the summertime. Your body's going to be losing moisture, losing water in the form of sweating. So it's a really important time to make sure you're replenishing those fluids by drinking water. You can make tea. Of course, tea is just water with herbs infused. You can also introduce more hydrating foods into your diet. You should definitely still drink drink actual glasses of water, but you can get a lot of hydration from foods that have a really high water content. So I'm thinking specifically of my friend cucumber here. Cucumbers have a really high water content. They also have a lot of cooling properties medicinally that are gonna help you regulate your body temperature. You could chop these up into a cucumber, tomato, basil salad. Ta-da, cucumbers, tomatoes, basil, and black pepper is all you need. I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. Another food that has a really high water content is cantaloupe or really any type of melon, watermelon too. Of course, it's in the name. You can eat this by the slice or make it into a refreshing drink. I have a recipe for watermelon slushies I'll put in the description of this video. It'll also be great with this cantaloupe. We have strawberries, grapes, tomatoes, citrus like oranges and grapefruits. And it's really wonderful that these foods like cucumber and cantaloupe and everything I mentioned uh, grow in the summertime, right when our bodies need them most because it's so hot outside. It's another reason why uh, transitioning towards eating more local food and more seasonal food can help to get your body into a really healthy rhythm. And you definitely want to avoid drinking really sugary drinks like soda or pop. Soda has a lot of refined sugar and caffeine. Caffeine's a diuretic, so that's actually going to encourage your body to expel excess moisture, so that's gonna be dehydrating. And excess sugar has a similar effect, actually, too. When you have too much sugar in your bloodstream, your body wants to regulate itself and get that out. 
So that's gonna cause you to go to the bathroom more, which again is removing water from your body. So even though they might taste good and they may have the illusion of being refreshing, especially in the summertime, soda and soft drinks ultimately are not going to hydrate your body on a biological level. These are my tips for staying hydrated. I'd love to hear your favorite ways to drink water throughout the day, your favorite most hydrating foods, and I'll see you next time.